Brooks Running has a new shoe for you runners out there. Did you hear that? Better turn up your volume. In fact, turn it up to the max. Introducing the all-new Ghost Max. It's got all kinds of things to make your knees and ankles feel protected, like Max Cushion, Max Soft Landings with DNA Loft V2 Foam, and Max Smooth Rides with their Glide Roll Rocker. Feel better on your run with Ghost Max. Learn more at brooksrunning.com. This episode is brought to you by the Weather Channel app. Did you know the app can help you forecast more than just the weather? With allergy tracking and flu risk mapping. So you know when to stay inside and load up on podcast, As well as air quality and UV indexing. So you know when to get outside, load up on sunscreen and podcast. Forecast more of what you love with the Weather Channel app. Food Heals Nation, make sure to stick around to the end of this episode where I will be announcing our second round of Swag Bag Winners. Holistic Voice presents the Food Heals Podcast with your hosts, Alison Melody and Susie Hardy. Join the Food Heals Nation and learn the secrets to go from feeling unwell to healing yourself. Warning, side effects of this podcast may include increased health and vitality, thoughts of living longer, an increase in sexual activity, feelings of joy, cravings for kale and quinoa, and a spike in Tinder matches. In rare cases, people have experienced a strong desire to put down the Ben and Jerry's, get off the couch, and take a walk outside. If you experience any of these symptoms, tell your Facebook friends immediately. All right, welcome Food Heals Nation. Thanks for joining me. I'm Allison Melody. Have you ever dealt with a health issue with one of your children that seemed almost impossible to get to the bottom of? That's what happened to today's guest and returning champ, my good friend, Katie Kremitzos. Katie is the host of the Women's Meditation Network. She came on the vegan Italian getaway retreat to Italy. We spent so much time at conferences together. She's a fellow podcaster, vegan, and great friend. Friend. She's been on multiple episodes of Food Heals, but I have to say that today's conversation might be our most compelling conversation yet. And we're joined by my co host and another bestie, another vegan Italian getaway attendee, good friend, beautiful human being who saved my life multiple times. It's Ashley Filling Jim. She's a recovering big law attorney who helps wellness and lifestyle entrepreneurs establish solid legal foundations for their business. We had a great conversation and we just geeked out on Katie's harrowing story and how she was able to heal her daughter of something that you might be suffering from yourself. You might have a loved one suffering from and the solution is going to blow your mind. I pretty much guarantee it. But what am I talking about? You'll have to listen to find out. But first, Food Heals Nation, the votes are in and Organifi's Golden Pumpkin Spice and Glow are your favorites. That's why Organifi created their seasonal favorites bundle where you can save 21% by getting both together glow and gold and support brighter, healthier skin, enhance deeper rest and relaxation, and just get your nutrition on day and night. You will get it instead of $159, you'll get it for $125. That's 21% off. Plus, you get the Food Heals discount code. So there's just so much you can get right now over at Organifi. And I love the glow because our skin is truly our largest organ, which means that we are constantly absorbing all of the skincare products and cosmetics that we use into our system. And so we really have to detox from the inside out and beauty does come from within. So if you nourish your skin naturally using the Organifi Glow from the inside, you won't need as many topical products on the outside, right? So I love the glow. It improves your skin's elasticity. It balances oil production, stimulates your lymphatic system, reduces puffiness, yes please, and removes toxins. Of course, like all their products, it is a plant base formula. And you can get that at the same time as you get the gold pumpkin spice, which is super seasonal and tastes delicious. It's got 12 superfoods for rest and relaxation. It tastes delicious. You just put it in some warm water, a little amazing milk. I use oat milk. You can use whatever milk alternative that you prefer. There's no sugar, but it still tastes like a warm dessert like tea. And it is just a perfect nighttime routine with a little fall spice. So swap out 
out your sugary pumpkin spice latte for some Organifi Golden Pumpkin Spice and check out the glow as well. It's all over at Organifi.com. Use the coupon code FOODHEALS and of course you'll get your 20% off. There's so many good ingredients in Organifi. I cannot stress enough how much I love all of their different products. You've heard me do taste testings on Food Heals, so go back and listen if you want to hear some of our natural reactions. But I'm obsessed with them, and you should be too. Go to Organifi.com, use the coupon code Food Heals to save 20% off your order. All right, next up, my interview with Katie and my co-host Ashley. Roll it, Roxy. The Food Heals Podcast starts now. All right. Well, I'm so excited to have these ladies. Welcome, Katie. Hey, how's it going? Good. Welcome, Ashley. Hey, girl. Hey. So this is kind of an Italy reunion. I love it. Where's the wine? (laughs) (laughs) Actually, I got some. Why don't you? (laughs) Actually, I was pregnant there. I didn't drink any wine. I'm feeling left out. (laughs) We have have to do a redo for you. Yes, but I ate all the vegan food. Oh, Oh my gosh. That was so (laughs) good. So good. Those vegetables that were straight out of the garden. (laughs) So good. I mean, incredible. To die for. We're going to have to do a redo probably not till 2022, you think? Maybe so. But I'm getting DMs, you guys. People are like, when are we going back to Italy? Like, I'm coming this time. And I also think that it's probably because of the pandemic taking travel away that now people are more eager to travel because they're like, I'm ready to go. Yeah. So definitely, we're ready. What was that hairband song? I don't know what you got till it's gone. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) That's a good one. (laughs) Okay, so DM me if you want to go back to Italy, because if I have a list of people who want to go, it'll make me more apt to try to plan it. You know what I mean? (laughs) Okay, ladies, but we're here to talk about something really specific and super exciting, because Katie, you and I talked about this, what, like a year ago? Um, I don't I don't even know if we talked about it on the show, but privately we talked about your daughter and how she was suffering from eczema. And I know this is something that so many people can relate to and you're on this amazing healing journey. And so we wanted to talk to you about it because you've done something that a lot of people don't know how to do. And you did, you've done it perfectly imperfect, yes. which is my favorite part. <laughs> That's very, very, that couldn't be more true. It was very imperfect. So, but it's worked. Yeah. It's motherhood, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's life, isn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I think it was a little over a year ago when she was really starting to have flare ups. And then by the time I talked to you, I think it was right about this time, like June or July of, of 2020. So, yeah. And you were very instrumental in that journey, Allison, because as, as, you know, kind of holistic as I am and kind of granola mama as I am in some ways, I I literally didn't know what to do. And you were the first one I went to and I was like, where do I go? How how do I even do this? And you directed me. Well, I'm so glad I helped because I have no idea what I said. So (laughs) (laughs) You immediately sent me to a couple of resources that immediately started explaining gut health. And, um, and that was a complete, like, I just didn't understand that at the time. So anyway, you were definitely a catalyst for, for leading me in that direction. Well, I really appreciate that. But um, I really want to hear, like, what did you do? So I know the advice I always give is, like, get functional medicine testing, find out what is the cause, and then heal it from the inside out. Like, so who knows what I said? Something along those lines. But <laughs> it was. Go <laughs> take us through. Okay, so how old was your daughter when this happened? And how was she suffering? And then take us through that journey. Yeah. Um, because I know there's a lot of people with skin issues right now. Yeah, I know. A yes, lot. Amen. <laughs> um, or inflammation is coming out in other ways. Asthma. Like, I mean, anyway, yeah. we'll, get, we'll get into that. So yeah. um, <laughs> so my daughter, Savannah, was about a year and a half old. And it's worth noting that she, at that point, had already shown some, I'm going to call, quote unquote, allergy reactions to some food. So like, I had noticed her having like, an immediate kind of skin reaction to yogurt when I fed it to her when she was a year old. Um, you know, with hummus, I noticed the same thing. So like I was, I definitely kind of like worked around those very specific foods, but that was kind of it. Like it wasn't a big, big deal. And then um, in late spring of 2020, I don't even remember like the start of it, but what happened over the course of what feels like either a couple of days or a couple of weeks, all of a sudden she had this like rash on her legs 
And, you know, again, even as Miss Holistic Mama, I have we have a phenomenal family doctor. And although he's not a holistic doctor, he's very pro, like, do whatever works for you, Katie, kind of thing. And yes, and he That's himself. Good. Yeah. And he himself is very, um, very, very healthy guy, very fit, very like into Whole Foods, but he's a physician. He's an MD, right? So, right. So I went to him and I said, oh, hey, what's going on? What can I do? And he immediately prescribed me a cream. And I did it for a couple of weeks, like probably two weeks or so. And finally was like, hey, nothing's changing. And then again, we went to the next level of cream. And truth be told, like I wasn't doing research on these creams. I was just trusting my doctor that it was he was helping me. Anyway, fast forward, like a, probably about a, a month and a half or even two months have passed at this point. And not only is by this time we're on the third cream, which I now know we're like really high steroid creams, it's worse. Like it's everywhere. So now not only is her literally from like her belly all the way down to her ankles looked like just this red horrific rash and she was getting other spots of it like sometimes it'd be on her booty sometimes it'd be on kind of spots on her arm um under her armpit like just all the places right but that i mean what was worse about it though was the, the scratching like she itched a lot like it was itchy and so Poor this, little girl. Oh, I know. Oh, my, my God. So bad. And she can only – she doesn't really have all the words to she express doesn't. it to you at that she point. She does not. No. She could not tell me what her – what was happening, what it felt like. And so all I was doing is I was just like the mama bear, like on my kid, looking after her skin all the time. So at some point – so the situation was so bad, and this is kind of the moment that really turned me – the situation was so bad that I had her, she was, she had to wear pants all the time. And this is in the high heat of Florida, horrible summers. Um, and when we would, uh, when I would take off her pants to get her into the bathtub, like literally the only time during the day that she would be out of pants, she would scratch horribly. Like for the, like it got to a point where I literally my I, I would like dunk her in, my husband would hurry up and wash her off and I'd take her out and get her, you know, get her out, put whatever on her and then get her dressed up and back in pants again. Like that. Oh, this poor angel. Oh yeah. And she, I just remember yeah. her crying. And at some point, like in that particular moment, like her, her, you know, it was starting to bleed. So this is the moment where I'm like, no more. This is, f fuck this. Yeah, <laughs> no, something's got to change. This is, it's not, I know better. Like, I got to figure this out. My kid cannot do this. So that's when, um, Allison, I think, I seriously think that that's when I t texted you and I was like, where do I even start with this? I don't even know. And so um, you had sent me a couple of articles. I think a friend of yours had written and I just slowly, and please hear me when I say this, I slowly over the course of like, a, you know, a couple of days, a couple of weeks started learning about like, what is eczema? And very quickly I found out eczema is actually not a skin disease. Like medical professionals want to tell you it's actually a gut disease. And right. So, uh, Hallelujah. Hold on. Say that again, because like, I think that is the most important thing that if you take nothing else from this show, it is not a skin disease. Your skin is not destroying you. Your skin is not attacking you. And it's not something that can be treated topically. Right. It has to be treated from within. Say it again, right. Katie. <laughs> Eczema is not a skin disease. It is a gut disease. It is a gut issue. And so what happens is if you go to your medical doctors and medical professionals, what you will hear is there's no cure for it because nothing right. topical will cure it. Well, I challenge you, if you're listening to this podcast, you already know, like, okay, well, I'm going to go look for other ways, right? Right. So so then I started doing the like, OK, so what is what is leaky gut? What is what is an unhealthy gut? What's happening in the unhealthy gut? So mm -hmm. um, so the bare bones is this because it took me actually a while to really wrap my head around this. The bare bones is this when your gut is unhealthy, your lower intestines, your gut itself is unhealthy. The gut lining is not holding everything in. It's not strong. And there are little holes and gaps in your gut lining. So what ends up happening, that foods that are regularly like high, high allergen type foods, like your dairy or your gluten, they end up seeping through those gut, the, that gut lining very, very easily and into your bloodstream. Your bloodstream is like, this is a normal inflammation. And it goes right. and then communicates to your body in all sorts of different ways, inflammation somewhere. So... So what, so what I did and what I knew I had to do was like, okay, I need to, um, 
first I need to start taking away all the allergens and then I need to heal the gut. So I immediately did what sounds pretty counterintuitive, actually, like every sort of quote unquote professional that I had, you know, researched or talked to at that point was telling me do an elimination diet, like take dairy away for two weeks and see how it goes. Or it was like three or four weeks for each thing. And then if that, if if that helps, great. And if not, then take out gluten. And then if not for another three or four weeks, I was like, fuck that. I'm not waiting another (laughs) couple of months. So I literally took out everything, which I was like, I'm going to reverse engineer this. I'm going to help her get relief as fast as possible. And then I'll start reintroducing things and seeing what's had an effect. So um, nice. So I took out dairy immediately, which, you know, my my non-dairy self was like, woohoo, yay, no dairy for this kid. Um, yeah, because you already don't do dairy. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. And, and so that was really awesome and easy. So I cut out dairy. I think that was really the main thing. Um, it's worth noting that I have a friend who's really well versed in Ayurveda in the practices of Ayurveda. And so she was sort of in my ear telling me the difference between cooling foods in your body and heating in inflammatory foods. And so, Ooh. yeah. And, um, and so I had been, um, uh, giving her almond milk, but my friend was like, maybe you want to try coconut milk because almond actually can be inflammatory. That can be a heating food. So I was like, oh, let me try that. So that helped a lot. I just want to say, like, I never thought about almond as a problem. I love almond milk. But one of my closest friends is severely allergic to almonds yeah. and she's a vegan. Like, who knew? So yeah. you never know what it can be. Like, obviously, we're always p- promoting plants over here. But sometimes, you know, people have an allergy to avocado or to almonds. <laughs> You're like, all well. the things, right? All the things. So yeah. basically with food, I, I didn't take away gluten at all. I just basically took away dairy and then I think changed out for a lot of like cooling type foods. And then I took out the, you know, went to the the fragrance free organic laundry detergent, put her in 100% cotton clothing. Um, like I'm trying to think what I, like I really just like did like hardcore all of that stuff, as much water as possible. Um, and in my journey, I came across a YouTube channel called Dawn for Life. And it's this young, amazing woman who has like a lifestyle channel. And she talks about, she has a whole series about healing her eczema naturally. And I mentioned, I mentioned her because the one probably best, best life-changing tip that I got at random at two o'clock in the morning, watching her videos over one after the other one night was that watermelon not only is wonderful to eat for as a cooling agent, it's a wonderful way to cool down the body. You know, if you have eczema, you're inf- inflamed. So you want to do everything possible to like cool down the body. But the watermelon, at, right at the watermelon rind part, you can put it on your skin as an anti-itch. And so Ooh. I was like, yo, it literally was like <laughs> life changing. And by the way, this works. <laughs> So, so I cut, so if you imagine you cut up like a triangle of a watermelon and you just kind of cut off the pink part, maybe not wholly, maybe you leave a little bit of pink on the rind. So I was like, let me just try this. So, you know, imagine my one and a half year old again in the tub, I'm taking her out. She's scratching like crazy. Her legs are, you know, at this point I had to like, she would be scratching so hard with her legs like curled up so she could scratch that I would have to hold her down to, to straighten out her legs. Like it was, she needed to scratch. It was so painful. So I take, so I was like, let me try this. So I take this watermelon and no joke, you guys, the moment I laid it on her legs, she melted. She just opened up and she was like, uh, and you could tell, like, I just started rubbing it all over her. It's, I mean, it's a sugary, um, fruit, but it's not sticky. It wasn't sticky at all. So mm-hmm. I just rubbed it all over. got another piece, rubbed it all over. <laughs> Within like a minute, she grabbed it from me and started rubbing it on herself. And I was like, wow. I was like, I'm a believer. <laughs> so <laughs> This is incredible. I'm trying that. So my son gets that he has an allergic reaction to mosquito bites and they turn into these welts and he just scratches and scratches. Oh. It's so painful. I'm Driving this child with watermelon. Yes, <laughs> dude. So we have mosquitoes everywhere in our yard, yard, and it works for for mosquito bites too. I mean, you'd have to do it a couple times. Like, I'm not going to tell you, like, oh, just do it once and yay, it never itches again. But like, I don't care. I'll do it like a couple times, but it works. It were I swear by it. This is you, great, you yeah. guys. I'm so excited to hear this. By the way, I actually remember you telling me this, um, and I, I don't have any itchy, so I haven't tried it. But um, I think this is so good because now that I moved to Florida, 
I have seen like, uh, well, there are more things out. <laughs> There's more <laughs> bugs out here than there were in California is what I'm going to say. Yeah. So I'm going to need this really soon. The critters are extra. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but, just, but just a side note, because uh, here's what I love. I love the fact that there are so many plants that have so many different healing yes. practicalities or modalities or whatever. So watermelon, when I go uh, or, or when I used to live in California and I did the um, – he, the uh, cleanses in Palm Springs. You go to Palm Springs, it's called Cleanse with Jan, um, and you do the hot springs and you do a green juice cleanse and all of the things. The first night you get there, you have your last meal. Do you know what the last meal is? Mm. Watermelon. Uh, Watermelon is out. extremely, yeah, it's super detoxifying. Yep. So it starts helping the body on the detox journey that it's about to take that it doesn't know it's about to take. <laughs> so I just want to preface that. I just want to say that because I think it's super cool that watermelon has all these incredible healing properties. Like yeah. all these plants really do heal in so many different ways. I okay, love that. but a little juxtaposition: a watermelon juice cocktail is pretty amazing. Too. <laughs> <laughs> that's not, that's not a juxtaposition. That's perfectly suiting for this. Co- well, so so also for her, I would um, I blend and still do. I blend. I just seriously like put watermelon in the blender, blend it so it's juice. Take you know, put it through like a little. Um, sifter or whatever and and freeze them and they're amazing popsicles they love them perfect mm, yeah. yes there are so many uses for this i also had a watermelon margarita the other night oh that so. sounds delicious i'm a little jealous <laughs> sitting over here <laughs> oh. oh my gosh okay katie finish your story so, i just I, I love this i'm so excited for watermelon I, i'm just gonna go buy one right now <laughs> happy <'Cause>, summer <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, and like it's just it's such a powerful I mean when you talk it's everything that you you really promote Ali which is like plants like our everything around us is like so like we have everything we need around us right so yeah. so for this you know all this past year and even definitely now like I literally always have a watermelon in my house always sometimes I don't even care if you know it feels like you know 40 percent of the time I pick a horrible one, but I don't care. I forgot the rind. That's all I need. You just want the rind. <laughs> well, <laughs> thankfully I don't need it that much anymore, but I like, I have carried these in bags up to my mother-in-law's house every weekend Go with her. She's this, you know, Greek woman, you know, my, my life is my big frat Greek wedding. So like, yeah, she's this old school Greek woman going, Oh my God, you are insane. But like, we'll do it. I'm like, just rub it on her. I promise. <laughs> so, um, so all of that to say, basically over the pa- over like from last summer, probably all the way through um, it, well into the fall, all I did with her was like really manage her food and try and give her as much good stuff as possible. Now, I will say like, again, I did not do this perfectly. So let me snapshot that moment. It took, I want to say it was about six weeks later that almost all of it was gone. That, yeah, like it was either six to eight weeks later. And I remember texting my doctor going, okay, doc, if you ever have anyone who comes to you, here's the flipping script. Here's what it is. Right. (laughs) Um, And, and I was, it was enough for, for me. I mean, I was a believer as soon as I touched that watermelon on her body, but like really seeing the results of healing from the gut. I saw that within six to eight weeks, I was like, I'm a believer. And so even my husband who is incredibly supportive, but also thinks I'm a little nutso. Um, and even my <laughs> in-laws who are incredibly supportive and also think I'm nutso, like all of them were on board. I was like, guys, we all need to be on board for this. And so, um, yeah, they all saw it and they're like, okay, good. This is so interesting. I'm wondering what your thoughts are on how she ended up with a gut issue. So that three month mark, uh, you know, three months ago when I sort of did another deep dive, I came across, um, there's a podcast called eczema podcast and I heard, I heard, which is great. And I heard (laughs) a podcast for everything. I know. (laughs) (laughs) And I heard an interview with Dr. Anna Maria Temple, who I have fallen in love with. And if you go follow her on Instagram, you can, you can, be right in with her philosophy. And she, so she ended up having, a, uh, opening up a course about how to heal your eczema, how to cure your eczema. And I got in. <clears throat> and so she actually has a whole module about like the why, because I never really asked myself that. I was like, just focused on like healing this girl. And, sure. and so she mentioned a couple of things and I, I want to give her credit for, for this because I would never have thought this stuff. There's a, there's a quite a handful of things that can lend themselves to your kids or you having this. So one is like family history. So she says, like, does anyone else in your family have 
the manifestation of inflammation. That could be asthma. That could be psoriasis. That could be eczema. That could be <clears throat> um, a ton of other things. So, and I have, I've had asthma. I ha- I struggle with saying have because I don't take any medication for it anymore, but um, I healed that naturally. Um, I know you have to go back to Katie's episode, well, your original episode where you talked about that probably like three years ago. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't um, know the episode number. We'll find it. <laughs> but um, so there's the family history. And then another one she actually mentioned, which was a little surprising. to Well, that was a little surprising was like vaccinations. And I know that's a massive really red hot topic. But, you know, she just says, look, vaccinations, whether you're for them or against them, what they do when you get them is sort of like they inflame. (laughs) So, you know, (laughs) they could exacerbate what is already there. And then the other thing she said was how you gave labor. Like, well, what was... I was hoping you would hit this one. Yes. So how, how was your pregnancy and then how you gave labor? And in the pregnancy stuff, it was definitely like, what were you eating and like what was happening? And then giving labor... She said, you know, typically, you know, fortunately or unfortunately, we're sort of in this society of like, hey, schedule my C-section, give me all the meds. Right. And she goes, unfortunately, all of that stuff literally like cleans out the gut of the fetus, like wipes it away. So she goes, your baby's and, you know, if you're if the baby's not going through the vagina, it's not getting kind of that, that flora and the fauna that it that is it's supposed to get. She goes, I'm not saying that C-sections are bad. Absolutely not. But just something to think about. So um, you know, I had um, an emergency C-section and I wish I had known then what I know now because I've, I've been interested in this issue too, Katie, is that even if you are having a C-section, your doctor can swap the baby in your body fluids wow. um, to address things that, that they need. They're meant to go yeah. through yeah. the birth canal if at yep. all possible. And what they pick up on the way there dictates their gut health. Yep. Fascinating, right? Yeah. So fascinating. Um, but if your doctor is in the know, then even if you are, if you do, in my situation, I, it was necessity. Yep. Um the doctor can still address that situation. It's, it takes them two seconds. That's so cool. That is, I didn't know that. That's really awesome. Food Deals Nation, you've heard me talking about this, but there is a new product that I have really become hooked on, and it's called Mudapure. It's by my friends over at Timeline Nutrition. And the reason it's so interesting and fascinating to learn more about this is that It's really rare that something new, something truly new comes on the market, enters the world of supplements, and it's something we're not always talking about, and that's our mitochondrial health. So important. I didn't really know. I didn't understand this concept, so I'm really glad that Timeline Nutrition is literally teaching me, and so I want to teach you as well. You know, I've read the website. I've learned more about it. I've learned the scientific evidence supporting how important it is to support our own mitochondrial health and how we're probably not actually doing it every day unless we become aware of it. So now that I'm aware, I'm here to share it with you. So, you know, when we talk about our mitochondrial health, it's so effective in improving how our body works. Like, okay, what contributes to our mitochondrial health? Fasting. So maybe you're doing intermittent fasting or something like that. Exercise. Every time you're working out, you're improving your mitochondria. And now MitoPure is something that you can add to your daily routine to improve that mitochondrial health. Now, clinical trials have shown that 500 milligrams of MitoPure taken daily can significantly improve your mitochondrial health, which slows down the aging process and contributes to improved muscle strength. So this is great when you're working out, right? You want to improve that muscle strength, especially as we age. And then it's slowing down the aging process as well, which I don't know about you, but I am wanting to be (laughs) not anti-age, but I want to stay this age as long as I can. I want to have a young, youthful, 
able body. I am always looking for health hacks, and I think this is definitely one of them. So, you know, if you're 30 years old all the way up to 100 years old and beyond, you've got to check out Mitopure by Timeline Nutrition. It comes in powder form. You can mix it into your favorite smoothie. That's what I do. You can mix it into water, um, whatever you want. You know, everyone takes their powders in different ways, so it's really what works for you. Improving your mitochondria is one of the best things that you can do for your health with Mitopure from Timeline Nutrition. It has never been easier easier. Just go to TimelineNutrition.com and of course, use my promo code FOODHEALS. You'll get 10% off the plan of your choice. That is TimelineNutrition.com. Promo code, as always, FOODHEALS, 10% off. I'm fascinated by the fact that when I went to Google and said, how do I cure eczema? I didn't like gut health wasn't the first things that came up. I'm fat. I'm I'm bowled over by that. Well, it's something interesting to note. Um, back to you know the pregnancy and the giving birth is my mom had multiple sclerosis. Mm. It wasn't her fault. It was something that she existed with, and it made her exhausted all the time. So my functional medicine doctor was like, "Yeah, no wonder the exhaustion was passed on. No wonder mm. you're exhausted all the time." And I was like wow, no one's ever talked about that or thought about it. What the mother is going through passes on to the child in so many ways. And I have no, there's no fault of my mother, but no wonder I'm always tired. So I might be struggling more than the next person because my mom had multiple sclerosis when I was born. It makes total sense to me now, but growing up and going through all this for so long and getting vegan and going plant-based and juicing all the time, I'm like, well, why am I still, like I've healed so much, but why am I still tired? And my Mm. functional medicine doctor is just like, well, yeah, girl, your mom was tired, you Mm. know? She got it from her mama. She got it from her mama. <laughs> I think that's such an important key, like like really getting like the emotional can pass, the physical can pass along. And, you know, I, I it's worth noting that one of those other why why did it possibly happen was stress. Like during the pregnancy, were you stressed? Like how were you eating? And and I was ha- not stressed. <laughs> uh, well, I had to really like put aside um, the like, oh, great, you're going to make me feel guilty about not having the perfect pregnancy. <laughs> but like, right, right. There's no shame or guilt in any of this conversation. No. I just want to know it's it. Curiosity. Yeah. Yeah. It's just that's curiosity. Yeah. And that's what I had to come at. No, I'm just curious. And what I realized, because I was like, well, how did I eat? Yeah, I got sick that one time. But um, I realized I was like, oh, my God, I had a complete life change while I was pregnant with Savannah. Like I, cl- wow. I completely closed up like my mini story with her is that once I found out I was pregnant with her, the entire, I basically said goodbye. I said, I put my whole business on pause and I was like, I don't want to do that anymore. What do I now want to do? And I started a brand new business. I started the women's meditation network while I was pregnant with her. That's a massive life change. It was, yeah, we were in Italy and you were like, (laughs) I'm, I have this incredibly successful business and I'm pulling the plug on it and I'm going to start a meditation channel. (laughs) Oh, Oh, Oh. Oh, and I've never like, I'm not certified in meditation and I don't think I've ever given one in public. Yeah, I'm going to totally do that. <laughs> and you've done it. And yeah. she, um, oh, let's just and say she some. did it times a thousand. Yeah. So <laughs> even though it was a stressful situation at the time, it is such a testament to who you are and, yes. and what you know about yes. your capabilities because we were literally walking on the path of the gods. And Katie, <laughs> Katie yes. was biz women rock at that time, right? Yeah. And we're walking on the path of the gods in Italy. And she's like, I'm going to start a meditation podcast. And I was like, I love it. <laughs> But don't, how the get, don't quit your day job. I'm just kidding. Yeah. I like that. Dude, you, just you're kidding. not the only one. <laughs> like, yeah. I still get the like, why? I don't understand. You had a very successful business. You literally just shut it down. Like, yeah, yeah, I did. Oh, you trust your instinct. You trust your yeah. intuition. You know, uh-huh. you know when it's time. But to make that kind of decision when you're pregnant and yeah. already a mom <laughs> with all the things going on, yeah. that just all the things that go with that. Yeah, that was a yeah. big that was a big step. Yeah. I just have to say that I was joking that I was in full support of this, by the way. I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> just giving you a hard time, girl. <laughs> but yeah, stressful. Stressful. Yeah. I, I look back on my pregnancy and I, I had a like a really rare condition in the midst of it. And I hadn't gone on a health journey yet. So I mm. basically lived off of nachos with cheese the whole time. 
Um, and watermelon, strangely. <laughs> watermelon. Oh my gosh, and I crave. Was detoxifying you from the nutrients. <laughs> it was yeah. good. She's no. then watermelon. And, and the worst, the worst of all was, I, this is, don't hate me. I craved, and I'd never had one in my life before, but I wanted McDonald's fish sandwiches that is hilarious like it was my <laughs> job got nothing. is that yeah you're judging me it's okay <laughs> i'm not judging you i just think i i don't i have a lot of bad cravings yeah it's just it's not one dogs. of them it's not a, it fish was sandwiches not, not it was <laughs> it's not good it's it, and now that i know what i know i guess to your point katie of like trying not to be so hard on myself because yeah. i didn't know i just didn't know it's just to be curious about okay how what have i learned how could this be different how can i share this with my kids, you know, so we break this yeah. generational <clears throat> situation. <laughs> yeah. The truth is, you know, I alluded to the fact like, oh, I've done all this beautiful like food changes for my for my kids. And um, and then there's real life where my two and a half year old now is a really picky eater um, and she wants sweets all the time. And now I'm, you know, like I'm managing like how do I do this? How do I do this in a way that sort of honors her her gut and also honors intuitive eating, which is which is kind of a, a big big deal for me to teach in my house, um, which is like you know has foundations of like don't demonize sugar. You actually yeah. want to offer sugar more um, more regularly so kids aren't like putting energy behind it and trying to hide it and like you just want food to be very neutral. And I did that very successfully with my first daughter. And I was start, I was starting to notice as I was sort of taking away sugar from Savannah that um, she had a lot more food rules. And I like I was watching. We were at a restaurant the other day, and she barely ate anything on her plate. It was our friend's birthday, and then they got the birthday cake, and she literally wolfed down the entire cake. And I looked at her, and I was like okay, I need to, I need to incorporate more. Like I, I need to do that. What seems very counterintuitive. I need to incorporate more sugar so that she doesn't have that energy with it. So, so it's like, it's all so imperfect because I like what her gut a hundred percent really needs is not what she will actually eat. So or not all the time. So it's like this constant dance and management of like figuring it out on a day-to-day -day basis. It's finding the balance because if you restricted everything, then guess what happens? We rebel, yep. right? Yeah. So if you tell your kid you have to be home at 11, they're going to come home at 1130. <laughs> if you tell your kid, you know, you can't have sugar or you can't have this, as soon as they leave the house and they can make their own choice, they're going to have that thing. And so it is finding that balance and not making any type of food as a reward because I am I am a former sugar addict, so I yep. get it. And no fault on my parents. I love my parents. Like no one, people don't always know better. So yeah. I'm there's no blame or shame in any respect. But food was reward and dessert, or or excuse me, let me rephrase that. Sugar or chocolate was food and reward and dessert, and so it was so decadent. It was so special, and so I associated those feelings of sugar and chocolate with specialness and excitement and reward. So, like I, I, I was in all the sports. I was a, uh, you know, in soccer and swimming and cheerleading and all this stuff. And we would always eat super healthy before a game and like afterwards, that was the reward. It was ice cream. It was chocolate. It was sugar. It was, you did a good job. Not just my parents, the community at large. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm not blaming or shaming anyone, but that is what sh uh, shaped my um, upbringing. So like hard day on a film set, all I wanted was sugar. Like mm -hmm. I was like, where's my cake? Where's my ice cream? Where's this? Even if it was vegan, <laughs> like once yeah. I went plant-based, I was still like, where's my chocolate cake? Cause I yeah. worked 12 hours a day on the film set or whatever the heck it was at the time. So I love the idea of making it neutral. How, and I don't know how to do it. You guys tell me, I know it's a learning process for everyone, but like, how do we make it neutral or how do we do our best to make it neutral? Cause it may not be possible. I don't know. But I love the conversation of trying to make it neutral or neutral-ish and not such a reward yeah. that you're like, uh, create emotional issues around it. Like food equals this or sugar equals this or whatever it might be. Yeah. I mean, um, I have one phenomenal resource that I lean on heavily to learn all the ins and outs of how to teach us with kids. Um, she's a very dear friend of mine. Her name is Nicole Cruz, C-R-U-Z. Um, she's a registered dietitian and she was uh, in my former business. She was actually a client of mine and she basically teaches. So 
she has been a registered dietitian for uh, typically for like 14, 15 years for young girls and teenagers who have had eating disorders. And at some point when, yeah. she, when she came to me, she was like, I actually want to start teaching the parents to help teach their kids how to dissolve and not have these really unhealthy relationships with food and body. So she came to me to kind of like work out how she was going to do that. And I, in turn, was learning from her the whole time. And so, um, you know, the bare basics of what she teaches is um, for food neutrality is like what she calls the division of responsibility. I don't think that's her term. I think that's like the term in the industry. So it's a division of responsibility, the division of responsibility. So it basically means like I, as a parent, am in charge of putting the food out, like here's all the food, whether I'm giving you, you know, packing a lunch or putting, you know, food on the table for dinner. You, the kid, your responsibility is choosing what food you want to eat and in what order you want to eat it. And that is pretty darn revolutionary in and of itself, because what we're used to is, okay, one more bite and then you can have dessert. Okay. Take two more bites of your chicken. Please eat the greens, all that. And like forcing and, and having like micromanaging the food. And so what this does is, you know, number one is you put dessert out with dinner when you're going to have dessert. So like now, like my kids, I, you know, put the food on their plate and I had a little cookie there, a little vegan gluten-free cookie that they love. (laughs) And they're, and my little one right now is eating that first all the time. And that's okay. Like it's really separating myself from like her choices. And so what it does is it starts teaching them to listen to their bodies and and then my question to them is always like, hey, is your tummy hungry or full? Like they start hear, listening to their bodies so that they could feel like, oh, I'm hungry now. Oh, I'm full now. And and it's sometimes going out in, in kind of discomfortable land or discomfort land of like, yes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to allow my kid to have, you know, to eat the cookie and not eat anything else. And that's that has to be OK tonight. And um, and so she really teaches this like you know, there's no such thing called healthy food and non-healthy food. Like it's just what food is and what it does for our bodies. And those kinds of foods do this for our body and those kinds of food do this for our body. So, um, it has been an incredible journey of like reframing how we talk about food in our household, reframing how we talk about body in our household. I I had an eating disorder in my late twenties. So like I have, I am incredibly hyper aware of uh, you know, self body talk and, and what I have two little girls, like I want to make sure that they are having a very comfortable and healthy relationship with their body and with their food. So like, I'm really doing my best to like, make sure and you know, I have to say and give Nicole credit, I totally implemented most of the things that she talks about. And my five and a half year old. So this was, you know, I started doing that when she was probably about two and a half. She is a phenomenal eater. She nothing holds too much energy. We could still go out for an ice cream day. And it's like, it's fun. Like it's about the date, you know, like, yay, she gets excited about the ice cream. But like, there are times when she just doesn't finish it. There are times when I put down dessert with dinner and she doesn't touch it. There are times that she's like gobbling down her broccoli. Like it, that's what the goal is. So it's, I would absolutely, if if that is of interest to anyone, I would absolutely recommend to follow Nicole and go check her out. Cause she, what she teaches is very, um, it it feels like the antithesis of what we're taught and yet it and it feels really weird and counterintuitive when you're doing it and yet it works it just works so i want to throw something in here that's an added layer to it and and that is i am divorced and my children are part time with their dad and part time with me and um it is incredibly hard for me to hear them some mornings going through the chick-fil-a drive through mm. and ordering you know, chicken biscuits and a Diet Coke. Mm -hmm. And my heart just hurts. Um, And, you know, and um, there are no restrictions, but it's also highly encouraged to eat certain things that I just would never put on their plate. And I'm by no means a perfect mom. And I love me some snacks and some junk food and some adventures in the culinary world. However, (laughs) there are some things I just would draw the line on. Um, and I don't have any control over that situation. I don't have any say. And I certainly can't um, create a situation that makes it uncomfortable for my children. So to your point, Katie, all I can do is really talk about, well, how how does this make you feel? Mm-hmm. And 
Um, Good question. What kind of energy do you have after you eat this or you eat that? And not preach, oh my gosh, don't go down that road, (laughs) but just start to ask questions and try to stay curious Um, because, you know, I definitely do try to model a different way. And when the kids ask me, why don't you eat chicken or why don't you eat this or that, you know, I'll explain and we talk and it's an opportunity again, not to preach, but my son is fascinated with factory farming and how all that works, Mm. Um, you know, and, and to keep them curious about their food and how it makes them feel. Um, So I guess there's a level of intuitive eating in there and also a level of just how do I keep the peace for my children around this issue where I have some real reactions to it. Yes. And it's just that it's not perfect. And like I have uh, not the exact same situation, but a a little similar in that my in-laws are close to us and the girls go have like a sleepover at Yaya and Papu's every Saturday night. And and they do food differently than we do. And um, they have a lot of treats there. They have a lot of like, if you do this, you get this treat. Um, The little one, especially in the past couple of months, oh, it's a surprise. Mom, can I have a surprise? Yeah, yeah, gives me surprises. And surprises are always like M&Ms and all sorts of candy. And that's, and so I am always sort of walking the line of, and my my mother-in-law is phenomenal. Literally, if I went to her and said, none of this is allowed, she would do it. Um, But I have over, you know, this time, like, tried my best to, like, especially with Savannah and the eczema stuff, I definitely was like, okay, here's the list. Like right now, none of this stuff. Um, But, you know, especially with the sugar stuff, it's walking that fine line between like the relationship versus like, how how, is it worth it to sort of put my foot down about this stuff? And who's it really going to hurt? And can, can it just be, you know, this is how it is at Yaya's house. And I'm, I'm constantly sort of like in that middle ground. So um, it's completely imperfect. And, and we as moms, Ashley, like we just have to set our best intentions and believe that what we're doing is really like coming, like getting through to our kids in the best possible way. And that's it. Food Heals Nation, if you're like me, you know that drinking enough water is imperative for our hydration and our detox. And I personally try to drink half my body weight in ounces of water per day. But have you thought about the quality of water that you are drinking? So according to the Environmental Working Group, virtually every home in the U.S. has harmful contaminants in its tap water. So ditch the tap water, ditch the cheap water filters, And check out my favorite water purifier company, AquaTrue. You can visit AquaTrue.com. Use the coupon code FOODHEALS for 20% off any AquaTrue purifier. AquaTrue purifiers use a four-stage reverse osmosis purification process, and their countertop purifiers work with no insulation, no plumbing. I set it up myself. Don't worry. It's easy. It removes 15 times more contaminants than ordinary pitcher filters and are specifically designed to combat chemicals like PFAs in our water supply. The filters are affordable and long-lasting, no changing filters every two to three months. AquaTrue filters last from six months up to two years. AquaTrue comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee and even makes a great gift. Today, my listeners will receive 20% off any AquaTrue purifier. Just go to AquaTrue.com, that's A-Q-U-A-T-R-U.com, and enter the code FOODHEALS at checkout. That's 20% off any AquaTrue water purifier when you go to AquaTrue.com and use code FOODHEALS. When Luca's mom was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease, she ran from doctor's office to doctor's office, getting more and more prescription medicine while her health just got worse, which is exactly what happened to my mom when she first had multiple sclerosis followed by cancer. Every pill introduced a new side effect and every side effect warranted a new pill. It was a vicious cycle with no healing in sight. In Luca's case, his mom found a different route. She found a doctor who specialized in root cause medicine. After 12 months, she completely reversed her autoimmune condition. And her son Luca began to think, why isn't all of medicine this personalized and data driven? And why doesn't everyone have access to this type of information? And that's when he created Index Health. 
Stories like these remind me of why I do this show, Food Heals Nation, and why I love Index Health, which you can learn more about at indexclinic.com slash foodheals. With Index Health, you get access to board-certified functional medicine trained doctors and functional trained nutritionists who use advanced lab tests to diagnose and treat chronic conditions. All treatment plans are 100% personalized, and doctor appointments are one hour long. They really take the time to deep dive into their patient's health. I only wish that something like Index Health was around when my mom was sick. To schedule your first appointment, visit indexclinic.com slash foodheals. Again, that's indexclinic.com slash foodheals. What do you do when you feel like unmotivated or you're lacking focus? I get up and move. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh my gosh, that's such a good point. Me too. Like I put on my T-Swift, I do my dance moves or I go work out, like go take the dogs for a walk. Like those are the things that'll get me out of my funk. That's right. A good long walk or a good hard workout. It takes extra time, but it actually resets things and makes me more productive, more effective. Yeah. And even if you don't have an hour, let's say to go work out, if you just get up and move and dance for three minutes, it will change the energy. Completely. Yeah. Yeah. So one of the things that I've been doing in addition to getting up and move when I'm feeling unmotivated or lacking the focus is doing my Sovereignty Purpose Plus, which we taste tested last time. Yes, we did. Yeah. It's got the CBD, CBG, and you said it would be a great way to help your kids because they don't drink enough water. So you Mm -hmm. put that little berry flavor in there. (laughs) Amp it up a little bit. Completely. You know, a lot of times I find that when my focus is off and my energy is off, it's because my nutrition is off. Yeah. And there's, you know, number one, focus on getting green things in my body. Yes. (laughs) And number two, check my supplements. So it makes sense to go to an all naturally derived supplement that can help with those days when you get a little off. Yeah. And um, it's something that what I like about it is it helps with the focus. So like if I take it, then I work out, then I'm sitting at the computer. I'm still buzzing off of it and not in like a coffee buzz jittery way. Just like I want to get things done and I feel excited to do them. You know, when you get overwhelmed by your to-do list? I know nothing about yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, because I, I love writing a to-do list mm-hmm. and then I either write the to-do list and I'm on fire or I write the to-do list and I'm like, oh, I'm so overwhelmed. I have to do something anything that's not on the to-do list right now. <laughs> you got to break it down. Yeah. You got to break it down. But if there's something like this that could help you just slow down long enough and focus long enough to even break it down. Yeah. That, that's great. Yeah. It's just an addition and enhancement to what you're already doing, working out, focusing on your business. Like you and I are entrepreneurs. We've got so much going on all of the time. Our endless to-do list never stop. You're a mom. Like you live in three places. Like oh, you make it sound fancy. It's uh, not quite like that. <laughs> <laughs> we will update Food Heals Nation on all of Ashley's adventures soon. But yeah, it's like we have to keep ourselves in check. And so Purpose Plus is just an addition to help us do that. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, let's build it in. Put it into your daily routine, Food Heals Nation. They've also got the Dream Plus if you need help with sleep. If your anxiety monster keeps you up all night thinking about that to-do list, then you can do the Purpose Plus during the day and then the Dream Plus at night. So Food Heals Nation, you can go to Sovereignty.co and use the coupon code FOODHEALS. You'll get 20% off your order. Yeah, and mine are a little older now. They're 10 and 11, and so I'll hear it come up in conversations with them just on their own about, whew, that didn't feel good, or I I ate too much, or I wish I had done something differently, and and certainly never any judgment around it, but it's interesting as they get older to sort of watch them process it, Mm. and and again, just stay curious about it. It is an imperfect, parenting is an imperfect (laughs) situation. You just do the best you can. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not a parent, but I think y'all are the most perfect parents I know, so (laughs) imperfect or not, I'm impressed. 
Um, so Katie, I would just love an update on how she's doing today. And then we got to talk about the meditation for women network. I mean, that's just has <laughs> <Yes>. to happen. <laughs> so, uh, um, so Savannah is great. Like literally that's actually why I'd messaged you yesterday. Ali, yeah. Cause I was like, girl, you were the first person to help me. Like I need to tell you a year later, like she's good. Like she's really, it has been months since she's had any sort of eczema anything like she still has like that little patch on her wrist but again it's super like it, it is not red um it feels really good so she's I mean has always been a super happy kid like she but I'm always aware of her skin I'm always like rubbing her down with some oil I'm um but she is doing great she's really really thriving so I could not be more happy I'm so happy to know that she's feeling better it's the hardest thing as a mom to watch your child be uncomfortable and not be able to fix the situation and then at her age not to even be able to talk about it. But um, I want to throw this out there too because we talked about early on how you said that, you know, that the skin issue and and even now you're able to tell what her reaction is. It shows up on the skin, right? Yeah. Um, I have had some skin issues and Allie and I talked about it on an earlier episode and I just assumed because I am of an age, um, (laughs) that it was hormone stuff. And I went to see my integrative medicine doctor last week and she immediately said, oh girl, this is inflammation and gut health. Mm. I said, no, 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 let's do the math about when I was born. She said, no, this is inflammation and gut health. Let's start there. Let's run the test. Let's figure out what's going on. (laughs) Oh, she's amazing. (laughs) We got to interview her too. Yeah, Yeah, she's on the list. Um, Dr. Kimberly Williford in Atlanta. Um, But yeah, that was her reaction too is, yeah, no, this is inflammation and gut health. And so I I just wish um, it were more a part of the everyday discussion of let's take a look at our skin and figure out what's really going on in our inside our body. So are yeah. you feeling are you at the beginning of that journey? Are you feeling like you kind of know where you're going? I've been on the journey for a, a hot minute, but yeah. um yeah, blood work is in and we'll see what happens. Yeah. We'll definitely get an update from yes. you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And oh gosh, maybe I need to cut the sugar. <laughs> well, the only sugar she eats is in her wine, let's be honest. True. Like, you eat pretty clean. <laughs> I do eat pretty clean. Well, ladies, I've loved this conversation, and I know so many people are going to benefit from it. I can't let us wrap up without talking about Katie's four podcasts <laughs> now. So we alluded to earlier that Katie took her entire brand, her entire business, uh, Biz Women Rock, and started first a meditation podcast for women, which turned into multiple iterations of the podcast, because now you have the morning meditations and you have different things to support different people in their journey. So I would love to hear about that. We talked about it on the show before, but just in case anyone's new to the show yeah. and they need to know where to follow you online and get all the goods from Katie, please share with yeah. us. Yeah. So, um, yes. Yeah, so I started with the podcast called Meditation for Women. Um, and so, uh, that was great and just kind of went gangbusters. And I was like, okay. And after about two years of doing that show, um, I started really, well, I've, I always look at the statistics. I'm, I'm pretty obsessed with the analytics. And so I was like, okay, well, what are the top 10 shows that people are listening to? What are the top 10 meditations? And they're literally like just guided meditations. Like I'm not talking about meditation. I'm not teaching right. you about meditation. Like it's a meditation. So it's um, a med- You have to lay down and listen. Yes. Yes. So it, as I was looking at that about, uh, about this time last year, I noticed that like five or six of my top 10 episodes were my sleep episodes, my sleep meditations. Mm. So I decided to kind of take out all of those meditations, siphon those off. And then I started the sleep meditation for women podcast, which to this day is by far the biggest podcast already. uh, Oh girl, I still fall asleep to them, please. They're the best. (laughs) Um, And then, because let's be honest, if we're not sleeping well, nothing else is working. Um, Totally. And, uh, and then I kind of did that again, looking at my analytics and, you know, another five or six of those top 10 shows were morning meditation focused. So mm-hmm. I was like, let's do a morning show. So, uh, <laughs> because I don't have anything else to do. Right. So, um, so in January I launched that show 
Um, and then last month I launched a sleep sounds for women, which is literally because I was noticing on my sleep uh, meditation for women podcast that I had kind of experimented with a couple of episodes that were literally just, you know, me, maybe a couple sentences guiding you in, but then like all sounds or music or, you know, rain coming down and those were doing really well. So, so I have those four podcasts now and they're they're amazing. And the feedback I hear from the women listening just melt my heart every single day. Like they're doing exactly what I wanted them to do, which was really come into the hearts and the souls and the minds of the women listening and allow them the space to get the immediate benefits of meditation, of course, like feeling more calm, feeling less in your head, you know, feeling less anxiety, uh, feeling more present. But ultimately, you know, to really know that they're worthy, they're loved, everything's okay, and they are love and light. And those are the kinds of messages that I'm constantly infusing into each of these meditations. So yes, if you enjoy meditations and you like ones that are made just for women, um, you are welcome to go check them out. You can check them. If you just type in meditation for women on the podcast player you're listening to now, all four of them will probably come up. Um, or you can go to womensmeditationnetwork.com. Yeah, you know, what's so funny is like, we're hearing Katie's like fast talking, <laughs> like me, me, you and Ashley, we can talk. Yeah. Like, we can talk all day. <laughs> but the meditations, I'm going to play a clip because they're so relaxing. They're super slow and I'm almost whispering into my mic. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Which is funny because I know you both ways because I know you as like, hey, let's get this going, girls. Yep. Like I'm a mom. I'm a, let's do all the things. I'm a businesswoman. And then she's like. So slow and quiet. <laughs> and I love it. I listen. I fall asleep to them. I mean, How do you get to that space? How do you get to that quiet space? Because as a businesswoman and a mom, we're, we're going, 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 yeah. we're making things happen, right? How do you get to that space? Um, I mean, I, I don't think it's anything special. Like, I... I batch a lot of my work. So I, I say that because like when I'm writing, I'm writing a bunch of episodes. And then when I'm recording, I'm recording a bunch of episodes. And I say that just for energy, energetic purposes. Like when I know I'm going to sit down and record, I know why I'm here. I know what I'm doing. Um, and then I always say kind of just a little, like I just kind of close my eyes, take a couple deep breaths in and kind of say a little prayer. Like, yes, please let this come out and, you know, be magical for the woman listening and exactly what she needs. So, um, so it's that, but it, you know, as, as you know, we were alluding to before we hit record, like the back office visual uh, of what actually happens to record is hilarious. Like the, you'll literally hear me, you know, I'm recording in garage band. So I'll just be like, you know, take a deep breath in and then I'll mess up in my word. So I'll scream the word stop. I won't do it now because it'll be too loud and I'll scream stop so I can visually see where I need to go cut. <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's incredibly hilarious. Uh, um, so yeah. I would love to hear the behind the scenes or the outtakes of the Katie Kermitso <laughs> <laughs> meditation. Amazing. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, I fall asleep to it. I love all the meditations. And, and a lot of them are manifestations. You know, you yeah. do a lot. So it's really cool and really fun. And anything you're looking for, you can just scroll through and find it. You're like, I need to manifest money. I need to do better my business. I need to think I'm worthy. Yep. Katie has got it for you. <laughs> um, so I really appreciate that. And Ashley, thank you so much for co-hosting. Every time. I mean, Ashley, you're is, amazing. Love you right back, girl. <laughs> it is so wonderful to have you on these shows. And Ashley, where can everyone follow you online, stalk you on Instagram, work with you, all that good stuff? Come hang out with me on Instagram at Kick Ash Law. I'm a, a lawyer by day. <laughs> <laughs> and she wants to help people who are helping people. I really do, yes. <laughs> Amazing. So Kick Ash Law and Katie, where can everyone find you online, stalk you on Instagram, all the goods? Yeah, women's uh, On Instagram, it's women's.meditation.network or also on Instagram, my personal account, Katie Kremitzos. Perfect. Thanks, ladies. Today was a blast. I appreciate you both so much. Thank you. Tina Anderson from Just Thrive has a fascinating origin story. So I wanted to bring her back to talk about that today. So 
Tina, you and Billy had former careers in the pharmaceutical industry before you were the health gurus we see before us today. (laughs) But tell me about that moment when you woke up and realized that you weren't part of the solution, you were part of the problem and what you did to change that. Yeah, it's actually interesting. We were, you know, in the pharmaceutical industry, as you mentioned, and my husband, Billy, had was doing a bid for one of the largest hospital systems in the country for a cholesterol drug. And um, they won the bid and the pharmaceutical rep came in and said, you know what my job is now? My job is to go to every hospital, every doctor in this hospital system and let them tell them to lower the number that they need to su- prescribe this cholesterol drug. And so it was like eye opening. Like I couldn't believe that, you know, he was like, this is crazy. Like, that's not why we were excited to win the bid. We were excited to win the bed- bid because we were bringing you know, delivering drugs that we thought could actually make a difference, but we didn't want them to be overprescribed to people. In conjunction with that happening, we both read a lot of Norman Vincent Peale, a lot of Wayne Dyer, and we we knew we weren't doing our life's work. We kind of already knew that, but that was like the moment where we said, this is not what we want to be doing um, right. for our life's work. And so then you went on to create one of my favorite nutritional brands that boosts my immunity every single day, Just Thrive. So tell me about a couple of the products at Just Thrive that we need to put in our shopping cart today. Yeah. So our flagship product is our probiotic that is game changing. It's a spore-based probiotic. These strains have been used in Asia and Europe for years. We brought it to the market and we had research behind it, which is so rare in the you know supplement industry. But we were huge believers in supplements, but we saw that there were a lot of people who were skeptical of them. So we decided to do research. And so we have a double blind human clinical trial on leaky gut. We've done many more, about eight to 10 different double blind human clinical trials on our probiotic. In addition to our probiotic, we have a very research prebiotic that is basically feeding the probiotic. It's reinforcing all of the great things that the probiotic are doing. So we have a whole suite of gut health products for you know, whatever issues that people may be dealing with. So from big pharma to healthy supplements, Tina and Billy are now changing the world with their game changing nutritional products. I can't live without them. Food Heals Nation, go to justthrivehealth.com and use the coupon code foodheals15. You can get 15% off of your order and boost your immune system today. Let's get healthy together. Tina, thank you so much for sharing your story with us. All right, Food Heals Nation. Thanks so much for listening to our interview with Katie. I hope you enjoyed it. We had a blast. I wanted to keep announcing the swag bag winners. So if you didn't hear last week's episode, I did announce the first four winners. So make sure you go back and stay tuned to the end. If you entered and you don't hear your name today, you might have heard your name last week. First of all, thank you so much to everyone who entered. It means so much to me. I can't even tell you. Every time I would get a new review, I wanted to cry. I was so happy. I was so grateful. I was so touched. So I wish that I could send every single one of you a beautiful swag bag, but I promise I will do more contests in the future. So just keep entering and one day you will win one if you don't win one this round. But I announced the four winners from, or the first four winners last week, and now I'm going to announce the final four winners of the swag bag contest. Thanks again so much for your reviews and how it worked was you got multiple entries for doing multiple things. So entry number one was to leave your review of Food Heals. Entry number two was to leave your review and have it be verified, which means that you purchased the book. And entry number three was to post a picture of yourself with the book or of the book itself. And so some people got one entry, some people got two, and some people got three. And how I picked the winners, because I didn't want to pick favorites, because I do know some of you. And so I didn't want to just pick my friends, right? I would never do that to you guys. So what I did was I then put the, um, I wrote everyone's names down and some people would have their name written down three times and put it into a, a basket essentially and I drew the names out. I didn't want to do it live on here because you would have to hear all the crinkling of the paper, then I would have to go find the reviews. So I wanted to streamline the listening experience for you. So I already have the eight winners and four I announced last week and there are four I'm going to announce right now. So here we go. All right, drum roll, please, for our first winner of the day. It's Vanessa A. Vanessa, thank you so much for your review. Make sure to email me, info at foodhealsnation.com. Send me your address, and I will send you some swag. All right, Vanessa says... 
This one is a must-have, important insight into food and nutrition and how it can heal the body in countless ways. I adore Allison and her podcast. This purchase was the natural next step to having great stories close by for handy reference. Highly recommended. You'll be glad you purchased with a smiley face and a photo. Thank you, Vanessa. Vanessa had three entries because she posted the the photo and she has a verified purchase. So thank you so much, Vanessa. I appreciate you. Make sure you email me. All right, next up, we've got Joanne Kim. Joanne had a verified review and a photo as well. Joanne, make sure you email me, info at foodhealsnation.com. Send me your address so I can send you all the swag. And Joanne left the sweetest review. She says, I've been a fan of Allison's podcast for a while now, and when I heard she was writing a book, I knew I had to buy it. She has a very touching, inspiring story about losing both her parents to cancer that really started her own health journey. It touches close to my heart since I did too lose both my parents to cancer as well. Girl, heart heart goes out to you. All the love. This book tells inspiring stories from people that use natural ways and food to really heal themselves from the health issues that they had. If you are on the fence about going a more natural approach to healing yourself, this is definitely a great read just to get different perspectives. Not everyone will be on the same journey, but this gives you an idea of how you can start yours to healing yourself. Thank you so much, Joanne. You know, One of the things that I love about my show is how it brings like-minded people together and people who have had shared experiences together because in my personal life, I don't know very many people who have lost both of their parents. I'm not at the age yet where most people have lost both of their parents and obviously it's not natural um, to lose them at a younger age. And so when I meet someone who is younger and has been through it, I mean, it's it's just an instant kindred spirit. And so if you're one of us, feel free to reach out anytime and I'm sending you all the love. And thank you, Joanne. I appreciate you. Oh, and great photo. She has a beautiful photo. If you want to see all the pictures that people have posted, you can go to amazon.com and and type in food heals. And some of you posted some really great photos. I really appreciate that so much. Really, really do. All right. Our next winner is Tiffany. Tiffany, make sure to email me info at foodhealsnation.com. Tiffany says, Allison's book was so inspirational, I couldn't put it down. Lots of wonderful and healing stories. Our bodies are truly amazing. I highly recommend this book to anyone looking for motivation and inspiration to change your life with food. Thank you, Tiffany. Send me your address and I will send you some swag. Much, much appreciated. All right, our last winner of the Swag Bag Contest this year is Amy Berger. Amy, thank you so much for this beautiful photo. Amy posted a picture of herself and her gorgeous family, three kids and her husband, reading the book in bed. So cute. Thanks, Amy. Amy says, what's not to love about this book? I even read it to my sweet family who love to hear about Allison and her journey to heal through food. What inspirational stories for everyone to read. I learned so much about the importance of what we put in our bodies as a way to heal. Can't recommend this book anymore. A must read. Thank you, Amy. Thank you so much to everyone who entered the swag bag contest. I appreciate you so much. If you heard your name on this episode or on last week's episode, at the end, I announced four winners on last week's, four winners on this week. That's eight total. I've got eight swag bags going out to you. Make sure to email me info at foodhealsnation.com. Send me your address so I can send you some swag, you know, right in time for the holidays. You get a little gift, a pre-holiday gift from me from Food Heals. I truly appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much for being a part of this beautiful Food Heals Nation. You you guys are my besties. You're my family. I love you. I appreciate you. All right. I will see you next time and cheers to your good health. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This podcast is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Side effects of this podcast may include increased health and vitality, thoughts of living longer, developing a more positive outlook on life. In rare cases, people have experienced a strong desire to put down the Ben and Jerry's, get off the couch, and take a walk outside. If you experience any of these symptoms, tell your Facebook friends immediately.